Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Legion I am of course George, welcome along to the channel everybody and today we're talking about our new manager appointed yesterday as of recording Javi Gracia Spanish, Spaniard manager um, appointed yesterday on a flexible contract something that I've never heard of, if you've heard of it before please let me know what this entails I believe, well, my interpretation is basically, you know, you can sack, sack him when you want, basically. You know, if he keeps us up, great. Maybe have an extension. If we go down, see you later. You know, contract ripped up and find a new manager. This is pretty much what it is. He is it's obviously uh, subject to a work permit. Obviously, we all know why that is. And that's for a completely other you know different video isn't it that really but you know ridiculous you know really that he needs a work permit to come and work in england but that's what the way it is so hopefully he'll be able to take charge of the southampton game but there is this you know legion i did have to say look hopefully he will be we don't know yet basically they don't know they don't know much to the board really but you know, hopefully he's in by Saturday. It's a crunch game against Southampton. But, you know, this you know, video is just to give my thoughts on the management, really, on the new manager. I must admit, I wasn't so excited. We, you know, did a video a couple of days ago about it. I wasn't so excited about it when the news broke and then it became he was manager yesterday. But the more and more I read about him, the more and more I read about the tactics, he... Uh, implements into his teams and the more and more I, I read about what people have had to say former players you know people in the media people in the Spanish media have to say about him then I'm getting a bit a little bit more excited about this appointment and it does look sensible you know Gracia has had um, you know decent not not vast but he's had decent amount of time in the Premier League obviously with Watford uh, did well really with Watford, you know, finishing eleventh when he took over in January twenty eighteen. They were towards the bottom end of the table at the time. Um, took over there, got them to eleventh place. Finished obviously, obviously as well, got them to an FA Cup final which they got absolutely hammered in, but you know still got them to the final, didn't he? Uh, and then the second season, sorry, first season he finished fourteenth. That was the second season, eleventh place. FA Cup final, sacked, you know, a few games into the, I think was it the nineteen twenty season. So yeah, you know, he's got a little bit of pedigree in the Premier League with Watford also, obviously the Pozo family, notoriously liked, a bit like our favourite Massimi, Massimi, Mass, Salino, we all know. I was trying to say Massimo, Massimo Salino, let's get it right, Massimo, obviously. Um, I remember meeting Massimo Salino outside Ellen Road uh, around the time the takeover was being done and I asked him, is it done? You know, he said yes, yes, and he got into his car and drove away. But uh, yeah, look, the Pozo family always liked to sack the manager. He's, I think, their most longest serving manager at Watford. Um I think are they still in charge of, of Watford? I think they might be, but yeah, longer serving manager, under their reign of Watford, and obviously I've seen Tim Sherwood saying, oh, he must have been a good manager then to survive that long in that sort of unhealthy environment for a manager, um, you know, likes to play four four two, doesn't he? And then and obviously some of his former players, some of his former Watford players that he had there have come out the woodwork really well they're in the you know public eye a lot of the time still with ben foster obviously with his youtube channel um he came out and said what a good bloke he is what a good manager he is you know good appointment for leeds and all this troy deanies also spoke about how he was a class manager for watford and loved to play the two up top with uh, andre gray partnering Troy Deeney up front and potentially we might see a sort of Bamford rutter for the moment uh, for us. Um, 
you know, with Rodrigo being injured. I think Rodrigo has been speaking as well, hasn't he, today, saying how much the players are looking forward to playing for him. Obviously, he's got to get fit first, still injured until March, how dearly we need him right now. But we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. But hopefully, Javi can be in charge for the game on Saturday. And yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments how you're feeling about this appointment. Me, personally... Um, it's growing on me and I I do quite like the 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 idea of him in charge and I think hopefully he'll do well. Seems a nice bloke as well and and promotes this sort of positive attitude around the training ground. Also a little bit of a stickler for uh, punctuation, which is good. Uh, punctuality at Watford, he did implicate a kind of a £100 fine and for every minute a player was late for training, but... Obviously, probably, I think both his parents were teachers, so that might be where he gets that kind of trait from. Uh, but yeah, you know, like I said, seems like a nice bloke um, and well thought of. In Spain, obviously, had a spell at Valencia after Watford, but we all know how Valencia were in this situation. Very cash-strapped, had to let go of a lot of their assets. Obviously, Rodrigo came to us in that sort of fire sale they had before the 2021 season, our first in the Premier League. Obviously, Rodrigo was our record signing at the time. But yeah, I think a lot of fans, you know, warm into the idea of, of Gracia in charge. And hopefully, like I said, he will be there for Saturday. It's a crunch, crunch game. But, you know, I've noticed 4 4 2, there is a good video on Tifo explaining probably better than I can about his tactics and how he did it in Watford and, and you know it's mainly a four four two but for a fluid four four two I think he likes to attack with a full back so this is probably where perhaps Junior Furpo might come into his own. I know Junior's been speaking anti to a Spanish outlet himself over the last day or so saying there were offers for him to go but he feels settled in Leeds, I think he said now and he's sort of growing as a player, finding himself a little bit more comfortable in Leeds and and growing as a player and growing into the first team, hopefully. But yeah, you know, fantastic, um, you know, that we can potentially see the best of him, um, marauding forward as well as Ailing or Christensen on the other side. So yeah, let me know what you're thinking about this news. Me personally, you know, fairly excited and thankful for potentially getting a manager bounce against Southampton because it's a huge game, this one. Uh, but welcome to Javi Gar Gracia. I was going to call him Garcia, as many people have, I think. I've <clears throat> got him confused over the last few days. A bit forgotten about, I think, mainly. Obviously not by Watford fans. If you're a Watford fan, let me know how fondly you think of him. Is he like Bielsa is, perhaps, to... To you guys at Watford and obviously the first manager since the legendary Graham Taylor to take them to an FA Cup final in 2019, was it? 2019, I think. So yeah, obviously well loved by Watford fans. If you are a Watford fan, like I said, let me know how you're feeling. And are you happy to see him back in the Premier League? I know you're fighting in the championship to get into the Premier League, perhaps, who knows, you might even swap places with us come the end of the season. But yeah, welcome along to Leeds, Javi Gracia. I look forward to seeing him in the dugout and what he can bring to this team because we badly, badly need a win on Saturday. I will be previewing it, the game, hopefully, at some point, um between now and Saturday. So, you know, stay tuned on the channel for that one. But in the meantime, give me your thoughts on our latest managerial appointment. Thanks very much for watching. Marching on together. I'll see you on the next one.